Have you ever had those intense late night talks with your friends about your future aspirations? How about life in itself? or possibly a business plan. Well, today we will be discussing how one of those special late night talks turned into a business plan that has redesigned the way the entire world views traveling. What began as a simple escapade to Paris for a tech conference in 2008 for friends Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp led to the beginnings of an app that could call upon cabs just by using your fingers and your cell phone. The discussion was brief and the idea of the app to the back of both Kalanick and Camp's minds. However, as Garrett Camp settled back in San Francisco, he bought the name ubercab.com and started working on the app as a side project. He then decided to reach out to his old friend, Travis Kalanick, to help take lead as the company's chief incubator in 2009. And the Uber app was then finally launched in San Francisco in May of 2010. One of the more important topics talked about within our class is the idea of convergence. Convergence, as we know, is the technological merging of content across different media channels. Uber has done exactly that by appealing to the masses and creating a travel platform that is both convenient and attractive to generations of all ages. The company has also branched out since its emergence in 2010 to not only transport residents from point A to point B, but food and freight as well. Uber Eats and Uber Freight are growing in popularity, especially in more urban areas. Since its upbringing in 2015, Uber Eats has dominated the field of mobile food ordering. According to data that viewed the monthly active users amongst mobile food ordering companies, Uber Eats skyrocketed to the top in popularity, with an average of almost 9 million monthly users. Uber has made a huge impact within the community as well. Beginning in January 2015, Uber teamed up with MADD MAD to help reduce drunk driving around the country. They have also partnered with companies such as Goodwill in May of 2014. During this time, they created the campaign hashtag Uber Spring Cleaning, where Uber drivers picked up clothing donations from people like you. Once the campaign was over, Uber was able to donate over 5,000 pounds of clothing to Goodwill. Um, the first time, I was a bit nerve-wracking. Uh -huh. I've never been in a car with a stranger. Before. Yeah, for sure. But um, the driver, he made a pretty well for me, so. Good stuff, yeah. man, good to hear, good to hear. Um, and the last question, on average, how often do you think you, like, would you say you used uh, Uber in the last month? I'd say twice. Twice. Uh, my first question is, have you ever used Uber? I have used Uber, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> it's so what for? Like, what were your destinations? Um, usually just other people's houses. <laughs> back to my house. <laughs> what was your experience like? Pretty good. Ubers are usually pretty friendly, talkative, if you ask them questions, you know? On average, how often would you say you use it in a month? Um, probably like 10 times a month, I'd say. <laughs> um, well, I went from here to the mall. Okay, I worked nice. at the mall. <laughs> and then I use it on the weekends. On the weekends, yeah, literally going back and forth to friends. Yeah. Um, how do you rate your experience usually like with the drivers and the service generally? It depends on the night and day, like mm. who picks you up. Um, but it's really good. But yeah. usually they are really good. Uh, they try to make the casual conversations everybody has had. So. Yeah. Um, and about like on average in a month, how many times would you say you use Uber? Uh, not even once. It's pretty yeah, sparingly. Yeah. Um, I would say like 10 times. What is your kind of perception of Uber? Like, what do you think their kind of job title is for? Basically, what is their They're mission? A taxi company. They are a taxi company, yes, exactly. Um, have you ever used Uber Eats? No, nothing like that? Okay, gotcha, man. Now, again, what do you think the main purpose of Uber is? Like, what is the persona that they go ahead and give off? What is kind of like, as a, as a college student, I guess, um, what's the persona that Uber gives? Um, like, what is my, like, brand? Recognition of them? Yeah, basically that. Like, what do they stand for? As uh, I think they're a, um, they're kind of a loophole. They're okay. Just a loophole in taxi regulations. For sure. Um, I think they're just a, a kind of regulatory innovation. Gotcha, man. Where um, basically by saying that they're a software company, they mm -hmm. just break break existing taxi laws. Okay. So Uber is a taxi service in a given metropolitan area, mm -hmm. and. Uh, replaces uh, traditional taxi companies that don't yeah. have a software front end. Um, I was downtown uh, at the Central Lake Center and okay. I had to get a ride home. On average, how often would you say that you use it? Probably every once in a while. Every once in a while, yeah. for sure, man. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, Boston, for you that it hasn't used Uber, like, what is kind of your perception of Uber? What do you think their kind of mission is as an app, as a company? Every time I like see someone using Uber, it's yeah. like, usually they need a ride off like, a party or something. For so sure, I boss. See it as, I, I've only seen it really as like a, 
I get a safe way home. Technology changes the way we book a flight, a room, access hotel services, and how we seek advice on visiting a different city. Many hotels and flight companies already offer messaging op options to their customers, either by giving the ability to text them through their own apps or establishing messaging channels like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. Automated bots and huge assets to the, are the huge assets to this industry. Chatbots allow a person to interact with either a human or artificial intelligence via a chat interface. Messaging apps are becoming a new type of new social media. It only makes sense that companies start to integrate this type of services in their platform. Another company that displays the convergence of media and their technology is Airbnb. Airbnb technology has made traveling more environmentally friendly and less time consuming. If you choose to, with the assistance of technology, travel can become a lot eco-friendlier. The days where there was a need to print the airline ticket, boarding pass, or hotel reservation are long gone. Thanks to online reservations, mobile check-ins, and e-tickets, we can save large amounts of paper and not worry about carrying numerous documents around. This is a win-win situation. Furthermore, online reservations and bookings are time savers, as there is no need to stay in line to get a ticket. Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, or Google Wallet. Everything is so much easier with electronic payments. Among the many advantages of going cashless, it is worth the convenience. There is no longer the need to carry a lot of cash, a couple of credit cards, or even have to seek out an ATM. Plus, the benefits of lowered risk, especially true while traveling abroad, where the loss of cash can cause a great inconvenience. How would you rate your experience while using Airbnb? Is this like a number rating? Yeah, one to ten. I'll say ten. Best? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Do you recommend the service? Uh -huh. Awesome. Next time you travel, will you find a place to stay on Airbnb or find a place to stay through a different service? Um, if I use any service, it would probably be Airbnb. Where do you, like, what destination more to? I'm um, in Mexico, in Florida, and then in Colorado. And I am planning a trip to Colorado, so I'm searching Airbnb right now Airbnb. to find a place. To yeah. <laughs> and yes. if you have used it, how would, did you rate your experience while using it? They're really good. It's like five stars. House were usually pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you recommend it? Yes, I do. And the next time you travel, are you going to use Airbnb or are you going to use like another service, like just like a hotel or maybe at a friend's place? Never hotels anymore, always Airbnb. Because <laughs> the prices are nice and they, the houses are nice, like you get a lot for like a little. And like the amenities and everything that they come with right. are really amazing.